Good morning, everybody. So, welcome to a full day of eating. Today, I'm gonna take you guys through everything that I eat in one full day and show you guys what I like to do for food. For meal number one, we have three whole eggs that I fried in some olive oil. I got salt and pepper on there. I'm gonna put some sriracha on these bad boys. And then I also have a oat protein shake with peanut butter, milk, ice, basically about 800 calories in here. This is like a shake I like to drink in the mornings. The total calories and macros for this meal are going to be somewhere on the screen. I'm gonna dig in right now and I'll check in with you guys when I'm done. Coffee time, I need some caffeine. So one thing I really like to do uh, on days where I'm eating a lot of food is go for a 10 minute walk after each of my main meals throughout the day. So after my breakfast, I'll go outside for a 10 minute walk, literally just 10 minutes, get some steps in. What this does is it actually increases the nutrient partitioning from the meal that you just ate. So it's gonna improve your body's like signaling system and it better allocates like the micronutrients from that meal to actually be used efficaciously and like let your body absorb what you're eating and not just like poorly digest it. I know that sounds kind of confusing. It also improves the speed of your digestion and overall it's just a great tool if you guys are bulking. And on that note, I'm going to go for a short little post-breakfast walk right now. But first you gotta let a man finish his coffee. All right, so I just checked the weather and it's literally below freezing where I live right now. Gonna have to dress warm. That'll do. So uh, if you guys like what I'm wearing right now, this is called the Posh Pullover. It's this like fleece hoodie thing. It's awesome and it literally feels like a blanket. This along with a ton of other stuff is going to be dropping on the 13th of December. That's the new December drop. And uh, if you guys want to cop anything, I have a code Lee that saves you guys 15% off your whole order and it supports me. And when you guys support me, you get better YouTube videos and it keeps cycling on. This is crazy, there's literally ice on the ground in Dublin. It never gets this cold here. Not gonna lie, I definitely put off going on that walk for longer than I should have, but we're gonna still get it in and I'm heading to the store. Guys, it's like an ice rink out here. Secured the bag. Dude, I'm literally like warm right now in this plush pullover or whatever. And it's so cold outside, you gotta get one of these guys. Like I said, I'm making meal two right now. I'm gonna do some chicken and rice for this meal. I wanna show you guys how I make my rice because rice can be really, really bland, but if you make it the right way, it's so much more enjoyable to eat. First thing you guys are gonna do is measure out one cup of rice, one full cup. Next order of business, you guys are gonna put that one cup of rice into a pan, and you're just gonna wash this rice and get all that starch off of it three, four, even five times until the water runs clear. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm just gonna finger this rice here. Poor word choice. <laughs> I'm gonna wash this rice. Now, as you guys can see, the water in here is cloudy. That's all the starch on the rice. You don't want that. You want the water to be clear. So we're gonna strain that water out. Make sure not to pour out any of the actual grains of rice. And we're just gonna keep repeating that process until the water is clear. Then we're gonna measure out our water. All right guys, so now we have our one cup of dry rice that I have washed. I've drained all the water off of the rice. Now, because I used a single cup of white rice, I'm gonna double that for the water that I use. So I'm gonna do two cups of water for one cup of rice. Now I added freshly boiled water in with that rice. The second this water comes to a boil, take it off high heat, put it onto low heat cover it, and you're gonna be ready to go. All right, so our rice, our water is boiling. I'm gonna cover that up. 
right before I do that, I'm gonna get a really good pinch of salt, maybe about, about that much salt. Throw that in in the water, a little bit extra. That's gonna make your rice really flavorful. I know it looks like a lot, but it's gonna distribute amongst all of the rice and it's not just gonna be super salty, I promise. Literally just stir that every couple of minutes so the rice doesn't stick. Right as it starts to get kind of fluffy and sticky and it's like holding its shape, take it off the heat and just let it completely finish. And now we wait for our rice. Right when the rice is nice and fluffy looking like this, it's done. Now, final tip for you guys to make the most delicious white rice ever. You're gonna get yourselves some butter and do a nice, like, nice fat knob of that butter. Maybe like that much. Good chunk. We're bulking, right? Throw it in there. Honestly, even a little bit extra. Butter is flavor. Cover that in the hot, fresh, steamy rice and that's gonna melt the butter. Mix it all up and you have the best tasting white rice you will ever make. You don't need a bunch of seasonings. All you need is salt, butter, wash the rice and it's perfect. The texture is spot on, the flavor, it's just magnifico. All right, you guys, we got meal number two here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven barbecue chicken wings and half a cup of some white rice with butter, of course. I'm gonna kill this meal and I'll check in with you guys when I'm done. Oh yeah, total calories and macros for this meal are gonna be somewhere on the screen as well. Boom. And of course, Back outside for my 10 minute walk. I just say win it, minute, 10 minute walk. I literally can't even express how cold it is right now. If you can just look at my breath, it is freezing. Man, if any of you guys watching this prefer winter over summer, why? All right, time to have another meal. Archie guys, so now we have meal number three ready to go. I've got three whole eggs, the remainder of the white rice that I cooked earlier, four more of those barbecue chicken wings, and then some butternut squash. The total calories and macros for meal number three are gonna be on the screen here. Time to dig in and I'll check in with you guys when I'm done. First I gotta get a drink though. Now we're ready, let's see. Meal done. All right, you guys, I'm about to eat meal number four. This is 160 grams of chicken breast, 250 grams of white potato. I'm gonna eat this as quickly as possible and then I have another meal to get in, which I'll show you guys as well. All right, update, I'm a clown. There's no way I'm finishing those potatoes. They, they're just like not going down. <laughs> Uh, some days I feel like bulking, it's just harder than others and today is one of those days. So I'm, I'm not even gonna have a fifth meal. I was gonna do a small little shake. I'm just gonna skip that and then I'm gonna go weigh that potato just to make sure I'm accurate. I'll check out what that was. Okay, so it looks like I only had 90 grams of potato. So make that 160 or 140 chicken and 90 grams of potato. All right guys, so that is gonna conclude the full day of eating. Total calories and macros for the full day are gonna be right here. Pretty solid day of eating, only got four meals in, not a great one, but is what it is. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. See you guys in the next one, peace out.